how I lube my Topra space bar stabilizer bars. This is it disassembled. The left and the right are the same. 206 grade 2 in a syringe. There's a, a C shaped shelf that I'm going to fill. I, I think of it like I'm stuffing a cannoli. You know, you want to you want to give a lot of ricotta cream in that cannoli, right? You don't want a customer to be feel like he's let down. Well, don't don't uh, feel like you're overdoing it on this. The only issue that you want to avoid is getting it where the slot the plunger slides up and down and that's why I, I use a syringe so with that it is full uh, let's say this is the left one so I'm actually gonna fill this entire area right here and right here the uh, the entire thing okay in goes the bar I usually do this after I install it, but I take that syringe, I apply some more grease to the back of the bar where it, it displaced all of it. And then, for good measure, why don't we just top it off here? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see anything there. Nice little welder's marks. You know, they take pride in their welding aesthetics might as well do the same even if it's just applying lube I think I ran out oh no this is the left one the same and that I'd say 24 out of 25 times this will you will you won't get a stabilizer bar tick or anything but there are the odd boards where I do it exactly like this and then after a day the space bar starts ticking on one side and uh, I don't I don't know why so if there's any suggestions on how to improve this, I mean, I suppose I could cover the bar more. I've tried uh, shrink wrap or heat shrink tube. <clears throat> that doesn't really, that doesn't do anything. It's all about the lube. It's all about that 206 grade two. So. Do is do it like I've shown you here. 
and uh, enjoy a perfectly silenced Topra space bar.